On this Veterans Day, we are taking the time to salute the brave men and women who have put their lives on the front lines for our nation in the name of service. And today, I am joined by a very special guest who is known for bringing laughs and joy to millions, but is also a decorated veteran who selflessly served in the United States Marine Corps for over two decades. I'm talking none other than Rob Riggle, beloved for his standout roles in The Hangover, The Other Guys, and 21 Jump Street, as well as lighting up the small screen for years, be it from SNL to the NFL, but today we are celebrating him for his role as Lieutenant Colonel. I am so honored to have Mr. Rob Riggle here with me now to talk about his civic duty and how it helped shape the trajectory of his life and and how he remains committed to being of service to our country. So, hey, Rob, happy Veterans Day. Hey, that was quite an intro. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Well, you served 23 years as a United States Marine and spent time in Liberia, Kosovo, and Afghanistan, then retired in January 2013, right? So what influenced you to enlist into service in the first place? And then how does, you know, how do those years of your life kind of just... When you look back, how did that help mold you, I guess? I always wanted to serve uh, in some capacity. Um, I thought it, I thought it's an American duty. It didn't have to be the military, but I just thought service of some kind is, is uh, important for citizenship. I just think it's important to give back, whether it's locally in your own community or, or uh, statewide or national. Um, and so I, I thought I could best serve uh, in the military. And it was something I always wanted to do. It was everything. It, it, was, my, it was my passage from boyhood to manhood. Uh, it was uh, learning how to grow up, learning how to be self-sufficient. The Marines taught me how to believe in myself. Uh, they pushed me beyond my perceived limits. So whatever I thought I was capable of, the Marines said, actually, you can do a whole lot more uh, when pushed. And and they were right. And, and it opened up my mind a lot to, you know, if I could do that, maybe I could do this. And if I can do that, maybe I can do this. And I started to actually kind of believe in myself and say, you know what, I'm going to bet on myself. So that's why I, I finally got the courage to, quote, go for it uh, with regard to comedy and acting. So I, I give uh, I give the military, the Marine Corps especially, a lot of credit for that. I love that. Uh, just something you said there reminds me of my grandpa. He was in the Navy and he always talked about, he was like, I had no idea what, like, I could do until I went into the Navy, like the level of discipline and what that allows you to just it opens up your life. So yeah. um, absolutely. Well, to some, this is a day to, you know, enjoy being off work. <laughs> but obviously for you, it's much deeper than that. So what do you do on Veterans Day? Um, how do you commemorate uh, this day or are you just chilling? Marine Corps birthday, which Marines take very seriously, is on November 10th. Veterans Day is on the 11th. So there's a lot of celebration around this time of the year. Uh, and I, I was just in New York and Washington, D.C. doing, you know, the American Valor Awards and, and, and doing some stuff on the Intrepid uh, for the uh, Semper Fi and America's Fund. Uh, so those type of things are, are, out, are a lot of fun. But today, you know, I, I'm going to be down in San Diego getting ready to do the, uh, there's a little 5K fun run. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to go over uh, to join up with uh, Habitat for Humanity and, and work on a, a uh, home specifically designed for a, a wounded veteran. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the day with veterans, just sharing stories and, and spending time with them and, and reflecting and remembering. Uh, that's uh, always a fun thing for for veterans to do. You're paying tribute to your fellow comrades as well, those who have lost their lives and those who are currently enlisted as host of uh, American Valor, a salute to our heroes television event. So it's slated to have a star-studded group of folks like Bradley Cooper, Tom Cruise, Gail King, Sarah Paulson, and Chris Pine lend their voices to share tales of just bravery from those who have risked their life to protect us all. So you hosted the event last year. Um, what made you sign on to return this go-around? The stories. Uh, you know, there are stories of American valor. And, and when you hear these stories of, of the brave men and women that have, have risked it all on so many levels in so many different ways, um, on so many different fronts, it really is mind boggling. It blows you away. It humbles you so mm. quickly that you can't believe the heroism that's just every day out there, every day on display. And it just makes me wonder, in, in your 23 years of service, how did you get through in terms of those tough moments? There had to have been just really some hard things that you had to see, that you had to do. Um, what kept you going? Was it, you know, the support of the Hollywood and celebrities and, and, and politicians that kind of like reached out? Family and my fellow Marines, um, you know, the, the, the politicians and the, the, the showmanship and all that other stuff, that, that doesn't really play when you're overseas. The, the only thing that matters are your, 
the man and woman next to you and looking out for each other because that's your family uh, and that's you know that's what you care about at the end of the day all the all the rhetoric goes away all the arguments all the all the sideshows go away and you get real focused when you're overseas it's just the man and the woman on your left and your right that's that's really all that matters and then i was blessed to have uh, a wonderful family you know great great mother father great sister uh, and and i was blessed to have that kind of support as well so I, yeah uh, that's what i that's what i focused on i gotta ask about the thing that you have been doing the most lately uh, before i let you go abc's holy moly what's going on with this it's, it's i love it it's a fun <laughs> show uh and i'm so blessed to work with joe testator one of the best sports announcers we have in this country such a genuine hardworking man and it's my pure joy in life to make his life very difficult <laughs> in a comedic way in a comedic <laughs> way uh purely comedic but it's basically miniature golf meets uh, some sort of smash up derby um, and, and bodies are flying, uh, you know, crazy things are happening. And Joe and I are watching it, you know, live just with the audience as, as the audience sees it, we're seeing it. And so we're reacting and, and we have so much fun um, because our reactions are genuine. And people, the competitors, hats off to them because it is not an it is not an easy show to compete on. <laughs> so God bless. Are you good at miniature golf? I'm not bad. Okay. I'm not bad. I wouldn't I wouldn't bet the farm on me, but I I'm I'm not bad. <laughs> Rob, this was a good time. Thank you so much for taking the time out and again for your service. I just think it's so exemplary and amazing and and we are all so grateful to have you here and for everything you've done. Well, you're very kind to say that. I appreciate it. And and please keep in your thoughts uh all the men and women that are out there as we speak, forward deployed all over the world, serving their country. They're doing it for you and I. 